but he ain't for us. He ain't for like the higher people out here, like medium, medium rain people, in between people. Not for the poor really like that. But they want to move the poor out of here. But MNK, MNK standing for another car. He wanted to see us together. He wanted everybody to work together as one. That's Chinese people, white people, black people. I mean, who else? But it's like a separation thing going on. There's a separation situation going on. You got to be higher class or middle class. You know what I'm saying? That's a different perspective. I don't, I don't understand that when it's just going to be everybody as one. They're going to be doing this stuff for the homeless people. They're going to be doing this stuff for like anybody that's, that's poor. They ain't doing it for the poor. They're trying to take the poor out and get rid of the poor. You know what so I mean? so let, let's speak up on that because a lot of people going to watch this and they're not going to kind of understand. Tell them what that community used to be like and why you yeah, feel they, like your word is more important than yeah, the next person. This, this is Fort Ward. This is Greater Home. This is the project. But they tore it down and moved everybody out who used to stay there, which is not cool. They really supposed to gave everybody they spot back and let them play the same rent. But that ain't going on like that. He, he, mar he, he did a million man march for for freedom. I mean, I don't really see no freedom like that. It's a small freedom. They give you this much to do what you can, but they want to lock you up, throw away the key. I mean, everybody look alike. Somebody do something, they blaming you like that. It ain't fair, you know what I mean? It ain't fair, so I, I really like when they, if they stamp out Martin Luther King word at the same time, them no folk couldn't, couldn't wait to hurry up and sell that stuff. Sell all Martin Luther King items, sold his Bible to the president, you know what I mean? So, so if it's like one thing you want them to kind of understand about coming together, what message would you give them to be able to make the situation better for your people and our people right here in the heart? I mean, the message I'm gonna get them. I just want, I mean, I wish they'd just get on one one occurring, man. Everybody stand at one, man. I mean, get everybody together and really be on this freedom stuff, man. Practice what they preach instead of using it for publicity, using it to get millions out of people, and just sending people to church so they can help make the church rich instead of making the people who going to the church rich. I mean, help get some of these people out of the streets, but they got money for it. So, are you seeing a lot of change coming about as far as time going on? I mean, or? yeah, every yeah, there's a lot of change going on. People waking up, people seeing what's real and what's not. Now, people ain't really going for all that stuff they've been feeding to us, them lies and all the deceit from, from time to time as we grew. But it's like when I grew up, it, it, it was different. I mean, people wasn't really thinking about what's fake and what's not. Now, people are thinking about, like, oh, look, this real? The news fake? You know what I'm saying? It's just for publicity. But, man, you know, somebody got to make a change. It's going to start with me or anybody else. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to stand up for the right cause. That's who I am. So how important is that to make sure that you, you know, whatever word that you put out there is trustworthy to the point where a nigga can take understanding of what you're saying, because you can't understand something if you don't know if it's real or fake. Yeah, exactly. You got to be, you got to be from your heart, man. If it ain't from your heart, man, if it ain't mutual, it, it, it's not right. You know what I mean? You got to mean what you're doing. You all got to build purpose to what you're doing. You all got to be God in the equation. If it went for God, we wouldn't be here. God put everything out for us to learn and, and, and to do something about it if you can. I mean, and then, any one final thing you want to say to kind of wrap it up? Uh, I mean, everybody just, you know, pray, hope, hope for the best, meditate, whatever you do, whatever form you do. Do you know what I mean? Just have you feeling right, feeling good for yourself, and don't just sit back. And let, let people take what we work hard for and what we grind for. Don't let people take that from us. We got to stand up for something. You know what I mean, or fall for anything. We, we can't do that. We got to stand, stand as one as a nation. Hey, hey, um, I got a couple more little stuff, man. I, I was looking at the footage the other day when we was in the studio with Rocco and you were doing that campaign. But before we talk about that, I'd rather talk about my boy Graham. Yeah. I, you know. Anything you want to say from my boy Graham and how important it would yeah, be to man, get his... Yeah, man, free that boy Major Graham, too, man. 
know, he can be president or something too. He can get them be mayor or something, man, cause he got he got the youth behind him. He got people behind him, and he in the position that he can he can make some big moves. I mean, I'm talking about this. This in the tenant office. This in like any kind of business that's productive to the youth. I mean, he, he, he can come out and switch up the game, change the game, just what kind of leadership he has, and, and, and the mind and thinking skills he got. Like he got a band behind him. He ain't got to do nothing but put something to, forward to that, something good, you know what I mean? Shout out Major Ground, free Major Ground, though, man. Real homie, man. Real street cat, man.